cosmic obelisks are more faceted than maybe what you're used to in a lot of my other stones, where they're carved, or my other collections, such as the Taurus or the Quasar cut. And even in the moon, these are all carvings. But these are actually faceted stones. The critical thing, not unlike, let's say, the uh, Kaleidos cut, the angle at the bottom has to be specifically right within that critical angle because of the color as it's going through the quartz, you can't see it going through the quartz, but if you notice the vibrational color you see at the base like there, it actually is reflecting as the color comes down, it's hitting that. If it's too shallow, the light will go through. If it's too far out, you won't see it. So that angle right at the bottom is a very critical angle, thus critical angle, thus you're getting the absolute maximum reflection that you can get. And that is probably the most difficult part about the cosmic obelisk. You have to be sure that the bottom is cut right at that specific angle in order to amplify and project and reflect the color that you see at the bottom of the stone.